Oh, it's starting now. All right, so here we have the cosmic shelf where we have the um, cultural cosmic charts and the clock of eras and some of the stuff on the timeline. And then if you go over to here, we have our cultural shelf with science. We have the three-part cards for biology. We have some different leaves, some simple machines, rocks and minerals, books on inspiring kids with ideas on science activities or experiments. And then we go to the peace shelf where we have a Zen garden, some shells for sorting, a couple different activities for calming and ideas. And then we go over around and we have our language shelf and area in which we do SRAs and different activities for um, grammar and comprehension skills. We have the grammar towers and the grammar boxes. And then we have the different control of errors for the different activities. We have some of the materials that um, are used for the grammar symbols, from reading analysis and syntax to sentence analysis to different opportunities for the kids to do some different language activities. Um, some of the materials that I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but the extended or advanced Montessori symbols, and then the different boxes that have the different materials. So Montessori symbols. We have the tracing for sentence dialysis or analysis. And I think that's it. Oh, and, this, and the Montessori, the grammar symbols. Okay, so this is our upper L classroom. Um, we're going to start with our geography shelf. Um, as you can see, we have a globe. We have our pen maps for the kids to use. And at the bottom, we have some National Geographic World Atlases. Um, as you move to the left, we have our geometry shelf, where we have our metal insets and our geometric cabinets on the top. Um, then we have like our constructive blue triangles, um, some of our other uh, triangle boxes, and not 100% sure what those ones are yet. Um, we have our, we have cases with like protractors and triangles that they can use. Um, this basket has um, little booklets and three-part cards that the kids can use for doing geometry lessons. Um, we have our area work. And then to the left here, we have our multiplication and division, addition, and subtraction boards. Um, we have our fraction skittles. These are vocab cards for math terms um, to help out with uh, our state testing. There are a lot of terms that we would see on the state test. Um, going down, we have our skittles for our pegboard. Um, our pegboards are over here to the side. We have, uh, these are math task cards. They're different problems that the kids can work on. Then we have our, our two different fraction boxes. Um, we have our checkerboard mats, um, then some decimal work. And then on the bottom shelf, we have our binomial and trinomial cubes. Um, then we have some dice. And then we have uh, a uh, hands-on math work is kind of a, uh, a intervention work for kids that maybe the Montessori work isn't quite working for. <clears throat> Up here, we have our math towers with all the different types of works the kids can do. We have some cards for telling time, because um, we have some kids behind in that. 
We have our just an assortment of different flashcards that the kids can practice with. And these are some more task cards. Going down from here, we have our gold mats, um, stamp game. Uh, we have our, our boards for like doing test tube division and stuff. We have our flat bead frame. Um, I believe these are the beads, yep, beads for the checker mats. And on the bottom we have our test tube division. And as we go around the room, this over here is like our science area. Okay, this is our science area. Oops, 